Since you've made it to this screen, your physical setup is complete, so let's cover the first steps of setting up the Geochron software. With your remote at hand, navigate to the Internet tab and establish an Internet connection. If you're going to use Wi-Fi, press OK on the remote to connect to the wireless network of your choice. Type in the password below. You'll see a notice when you're successfully connected. It may take a hot second for the IP address to appear on the Internet tab and System tab, where you'll go next. At the System tab, select Download System Update. The Geochron will reach out to our servers for the latest program, which will certainly have a feature or stability improvement over what you currently have. Then, just wait. Depending on the size of the update, it may take a few seconds or a few minutes to download. Then the Geochron will automatically reboot. You'll know it's working when you see the Installing Update in the Boot Up screen. Once rebooted, the Geochron will reach out to our servers once again to upload the newest live data for your layers. If you insist on navigating through the program on the first boot up, it might be a bit laggy. It's trying to get a lot done, so just give it a minute. It may take several minutes for all the live layers to populate. Next, jump over to the Time tab and set your local time zone. Scroll down for the zone and pick your region on the right. We do this because not every region enjoys daylight savings time. Now jump over to the General tab to select the map you like by pressing OK and work down the page. If the navigation is confusing here, we'll talk about it in more detail in the General Navigation Help video.